Honorable Chief Guest, the Minister, Ministry of Home and Culture Affairs, Royal Government of Bhutan, His Excellency the Secretary General, Sark Secretariat, Nepal, His Excellency Ambassador of Bangladesh to Bhutan, Honorable Secretary, Ministry of Home and Culture Affairs, Royal Government of Bhutan, Director, Sark uh, Secretariat, Nepal, Director of the Sark Culture Center, Sri Lanka, Delegates from Bangladesh, Distinguished Dignitaries, Ladies and Gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the closing ceremony of the Sark Culture Capital. We would like to begin the program with the traditional marching ceremony. Chief Guest, the Minister, Ministry of Home and Cultural Affairs, Royal Government of Bhutan, His Excellency, the General Secretary, Sark Secretary of Nepal, His Excellency, Ambassador of Bangladesh to Bhutan, Honorable Secretaries, Royal Government of Bhutan, Directors, Sark Secretary of Nepal, Director, Sark Culture Centre, Sri Lanka, Delegate from India and uh, Bangladesh, distinguished dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome the Honorable Chief Guests, Excellencies, dignitaries and distinguished delegates to this auspicious closing ceremony of the Sark Culture Capital 2018 and 2019. The Department of Culture, Ministry of Home and Culture Affairs is pleased to report that the Royal Government of Bhutan had an honor and privilege to host the Sark Culture Capital 2018 and 2019 in Bhutan, in the capital city of Thimbu. The capital city of Thimbu was declared as a Sark Cultural Capital City in May 2018, and the handicraft exhibition was successfully showcased by the member, Sark member states along with the displays of 13 arts and crafts of Bhutan during the inaugural of Cultural Capital City. Finally, I would like to congratulate Dr. Anis Suzaman, who is going to receive the Literary Award of 2019. And also wish all the dignities and distinguished delegates a pleasant stay in Bhutan. Thank you and touch the leg. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be addressing you today at the closing ceremony of the Saab culture capital in Bhutan. As Jawaharlal Nehru, former Prime Minister of India, remarked, culture is the widening of the mind and of spirit, both fruitful and memorable. Thank you very much. 
Now we have the Sark song by the Royal Academy of Performing Arts. This song is composed by the Department of Culture to mark the friendship between the Sark member states. I wish to express profound gratitude to the Royal Government of Bhutan for inviting me to this important SARC event. As a gracious host of the SARC Development Fund Secretary, the Kingdom has facilitated institutionalized project-based collaboration in the region. In concluding my remarks, I wish to once again congratulate the Royal Government of Bhutan and the people of Bhutan on recognition of Tirpu as the SARC Cultural Capital and express Gratitude for warm welcome and generous hospitality. I thank you very much. I feel honored and privileged to be the chief guest on the closing ceremony of SAP Cultural Capital. On behalf of the Royal Government of Bhutan and on my own behalf, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all dignitaries. And I applaud the team for successfully organizing these programs. And I'm happy to announce the presence of Dr. Anisu Zaman, the recipient of SAP Literary Award among us. Congratulations, Dr. Pintashidele. Once again, I would like to put on record that Bhutan is highly honored by convening the convening of SAP cultural capital in our kingdom and would like to wish India a successful journey in exploring this sub cultural capital adventure. Lastly, I would like to wish the delegates a pleasant stay in Bhutan and a safe trip home with good memories of your time here with us and wish you all the happiness in your life. Touch the name. Cultural understanding can make a better world. And to all those of you who not only believe but who work towards this very special goal and who create such special moments, such as this Sark Cultural Capital, these special moments that shape and create a deeper, a stronger, and a more meaningful existence within our member states in South Asia, to all of you. On behalf of the Sark Cultural Center, I say thank you.